A knife is a tool. A lot of people don't realize it's a slicing tool on top of that. When you go to cut the Christmas turkey, you don't chop it, you slice it. So a knife is made for, as a slicing cutting tool. And uh, you can just do a, a pull. I come from the back to the front. We're gonna work on feather sticks this time too, where you can get something made. You can actually, if you get a good dry piece, you can strike a ferro rod into that feather stick. And just lay it on, strike into it, and start a fire with that. But anyway, that's, that's a, another thing. A knife. Uh, I've, I've said this for a lot of years. A dull knife will hurt you quicker than a sharp knife. You're going to work harder. Yeah. And when you do that, if a knife is sharp, it will perform and do what it should. Mm -hmm. But if it's dull, it's sharp enough to cut you, but not to do the chore you're trying to get it to do. And a lot of people would have negative to say about that things on the YouTube videos, stuff like that. That's okay with me. I don't care. Uh, like Morris Kahansky said, when I was up there, he said, Phil, can't use a knife any better than that. He don't need one. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, we've had people cut in our classes. We was doing one in Idaho after about three or four years ago. We go out there and do a class once a year at the factory. And uh, anyway, uh, there's a guy come from Tennessee. All we out there just take that class because they want to be out there in Idaho and take that class. And his son had what we call divided attention. <laughs> when I'm teaching, you need to focus on me, not sitting there and keep feeling and doing things. Just stop what you're doing. Or some other, one of these other gentlemen is helping you and talking, telling you something. Stop what you're doing and pay attention because uh, that's when you get cut because your attention is divided. Mm -hmm. He was standing over, I was on deck and I was teaching about a fish hook. And uh, he was standing there and he's pushing down. Oh what did he do? Oh the my. knife went through, he sliced it there, but there was a hand surgeon on duty that day and he had to go, you know, they had to sew him up and everything. And uh, so uh, always stop what you're doing and pay attention. Okay guys? A knife, so let's say you bought a real expensive Damascus blade, and that knife was, you just gave a thousand dollars for it. I mean, you, yeah, I've got that much out of knives before myself, sell them. But when, if you go to drop that knife, don't grab it. Yeah. Let it go. Let it fall. I don't care if it costs two thousand dollars. It breaks the blade. Yep. It's better than having something severed and cut that you mm. can't get fixed. Amen. Let it go. This knife, I'll just drop it. I'll just let it go. I'm gonna let it hit the ground. I'll try to sharpen it and redo it if I have to. But if you get cut trying to grab that knife, you're gonna be in trouble. Mm -hmm. A knife, like I say, is a tool. That's what it is. It can be a weapon as well, but it's definitely a tool. And mankind has, that's, that's your first tool. Number one tool, your first tool, number one. And even during primitive times, they made stone tools to cut game and dress game, and I've done that. Uh, several occasions. Several cuts in here and it's called a, a beaver chew and I'll just and it's says thumb assisted or you don't have to thumb assist it and I'm rotating this stick around and I'm putting a finish end on a stick and that's called a beaver chew and you also do it batoning around a tree what we call a stop cut anyway and uh, I can carve back into that now and just pop that out like that because I did that cut that way, that stop cut. We have the chest lever grip, which you reverse the knife, and you use the power this way. Mm. Chest lever grip, and it's a pretty strong cut. Power cut, and I just take hold of this piece, and I pull and push at the same time. power cut <laughs> then you have you know that like I say the push cut which is really good and that's really controlled which this knife is really sharp I keep my knives uh, like I say I don't want it to be where I've got a dull knife can't perform what I want to perform 